Okay, now we're going to take a look at this crane again. Now this time what I've got set up are a couple of uh, points for this to swing swing on. So now I'm using rigid bodies. That's what this green is all about. In fact, that's something I read about in the release notes for 2.70, I think it was, where, um, where you can use control R to automatically set these rigid body values. And I think they're going to take that out because it gets too confusing with your know, control R for loop, cut, and slide in edit mode. But anyway, I have a rigid bodies applied to this and this, and then I have some connecting pieces here and here. And the reason I have these, I have this attached to this with a parent. And then my rigid body connection is between here and here. And then this is attached with a parent. And then the reason being otherwise, if I just try and connect directly to this, it's going to try and connect back to the origin of the boom back there, which I need for the pivot point back for if I want to rotate the boom. So I have to have a way on the front. So there's other ways to do it. No, I think normally the way these cables run, they come up and over the pulley on the top here and then back through the motor. I don't know where the motor is to actually pull these pulleys up and down. It's, I think it's near the back. Maybe it's right at the front. I don't think so though. So then, and so what I have are these joints. So now when I run it now, you can see if what we look in really close, there's a little bit of swing going on to the pulley like this. All right, so it's kind of swing, kind of like what you might expect. Sometimes, if you want to give these things a little bit of motion, then you would actually just I would just, might start this and I might just move this pulley a little bit out of the way, and then I let's see, kick back, and there it gets going. You kind of have to initiate it with some kind of force in that case, so it. actually does something right so then it swings so then that's an approach and then even on this if you if you slowly move these you have to kind of be careful on these setups so for, let me see R Y if I move this get my mouse somewhere better whoops there it is connected and there you see it's moving like that so these things take a little bit of time to set up I don't spend a lot of time doing these in blender render though they're a lot of fun and the reason being is because I'm working in the game engine more often than not and the game engine has completely different setups. So when you go into Blender game engine, you have to, all these are set up differently, especially when I work this in code. So it's not the same setup altogether. So I'm kind of waiting patiently. In fact, when 2.66 first came out and they implemented rigid bodies within the, within, well, this says cycles render, but within Blender render, they implemented rigid bodies like this. So in order to, I, I did a couple playlists on rigid bodies so you can kind of see what they do. So they're still out there on my channel if you want to see how introductory levels in order to get this started. But I'm going to wait till later versions of Blender come out and the physics from the game engine might be more fully integrated with Blender Render and it'll be like a full system because if you're a programmer, you have to code in two different programming libraries all the time. If you Blender Render, you got to do BPY programming. And if you're into the game engine, you got to do Blender Game Engine programming. So I just don't want to spend too much time repeating this, the same thing over and over again. All right, but yeah, if you want to try and do it rigid bodies, I'd say go for it, you know, just see what you can figure out and check out those uh, playlists. All right, I'll see you in the next lesson.